This set of material is centered around what's called loops. So a loop is a group of code that allows a program to repeatedly execute some code. So here's a flowchart that identifies, but let's step through it. So uh, we hit a loop somewhere in our code. We hit the word for or while. What's going to happen is next to the for a while is more or less a conditional statement. For a while, it's an explicit conditional statement. For a for loop, it's implicit. But we're going to check to see, is it true or false? If it's true, I'm going to execute the code inside. So I execute the code inside, and then I'm going to go back up, back up to my loop again, back up to the top. I'm going to reevaluate this conditional, ask if it's true or false. If it's true, I'm going to execute the code inside, go back up, check it again. If it's true, execute the code inside, go back up, check it again. If it's true, execute the code inside and keep repeating this process until I hit it false. So as soon as it's false, I'm done and I keep going. That is a loop. We repeatedly execute this code inside. We create a loop. We get stuck in a loop where we're going to repeat something over and over and over again. So like I said, there are conditional statements, just like there were for branching. So we're going to still use our relational operators, our equality operators, and our logical operators to create our conditional statements uh, that tell us whether or not we're going to keep repeating or stop. Each round of execution is called a pass or an iteration. You'll probably hear me say iteration. So how many iterations there are means how many times did this code repeat? Each group of code, so this code inside of a loop may be executed zero times, maybe executed one time, two times, three times, 20 times, 50 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, or it might be executed an infinite number of times. If it's an infinite number of times, that means it's an infinite loop uh, which sometimes you want that to occur. So that might be an example where you're doing embedded systems, which is not something we're going to do in this class. Uh, but there are some instances where you're writing code where you do want to have in infinite loops. For our purposes, you do not want to have infinite loops. So if you ever run into an instance where your code just doesn't stop, that means you've hit an infinite loop and you can press Control C. Uh, on your uh, computer. That's the same thing for a Mac and a Windows. It's Control C. So we're going to learn in this week to write for loops and while loops that allow us to repeatedly execute code over and over and over again until this conditional, until our question is false.